Uh, here we are with the finished sawmill trailer and you look at the rear tires you see the tires are off the ground I've got a tongue jack on there and then I have four jack stands and uh, what I did was is I came in and I chalked the rear tire and then I raised the tongue jack all the way up so the so the trailer was sitting up this way and then I put the two front jack stands in pretty high and then I lowered the tongue all the way and then came back with a high lift jack and lifted the rear up so it'd pivot on the front jack stands and then I put you know the jack stands in the back and then I went back up to the front and tightened up that jack uh, the tongue jack so it's basically level got me a temporary board on either side here need to cut a little longer Hey, and then uh, I've got me a box up front for tools and stuff and I need to screw it down uh, but I also need to be able to move it so I'm thinking about just making cleats for it to sit in cleats because when I go to jack you know the box is sitting in the way of the uh, you know the uh, the jack all right so one last thing to show this board here, this big plank, this been uh, this log. That's as that's as uh, low as I could cut on the track using the plans that uh, came with the thing, All right? And that's a pretty substantial board. But by lowering the track, right, the way I did it, you see, I could cut almost. You know, about an inch, inch and a half off of the base of the trailer. So that gives me, you know, eight, ten inches of extra wood I can cut. Okay. All right, I'm disappointed because uh, I can't cut anything because I just ran by after work and uh, I knew it would be close, but I didn't think the log would be that close. So I lose about eight inches on that big log I was cutting. So that's okay. That makes a nice little wooden block for beating on something with. Maybe I'll carve it into a bowl. Who knows? All right, so I guess to see this sawmill in action, you're going to have to wait till next time I run by after work and I have put all my tools in. It's been a bear because I'm in, look, there's a creek right there, and all the water runs down, and this place is very, very swampy, and instead of gravel, they've got wood chips down on the road so my poor cube can't can't make it in here you know if it's been raining so and it's been raining a lot in nashville but all right well i'm disappointed but uh, we'll stay tuned we'll get in here and let you see me cut something